Mm. I think we should come b- come down to Nigeria and talk about something that I just read. They said like a conversation that created a lot of buzz on the internet because well, we wanted we wanted it to be true so bad. Mm. We really wanted it to be true. It's about one of um, Nigeria's um, pop- popular artists and tech premier, um, Mr. Easy. What was it about? Um, okay. Um, so last last week here. Yeah. Yeah, last week there were some reports flying around that Mr. Izzy had sold his company to sold his company Nvidia to Gamma. Well, it turns out that was false because one, he doesn't own the company, and you can't sell something that doesn't that doesn't belong to you. Mm-hmm. And so I did a little digging and discovered that one, Nvidia is obviously, like I said, not not his company. Um, the claim was some some other reports. So there were a lot of conflicting reports. Some people said, "Oh, um, this is Mr. This was or uh, is Mr. Is's company, and he sold it for one billion dollars, which was I think the first alarm bell for me because a um, billion dollars is huge, regardless of where you are. Mm-hmm. And for a Nigerian company to be selling for a billion dollars, then and especially music tech." that uh, that was quite unusual still is unusual so i checked and um some of the reports also said that okay oh it's not mr easy it's zagadat capital that was an investor in in the uh, what do you call it in in, in Vidya. Vidya. Yeah. yeah so what really happened is that video was sold that's that's actually true it was sold last year to gamma so gamma is a is like a company that is trying to build software for music distribution across the world so it was founded by a former apple, apple music executive larry jackson mm-hmm. and um they were not acquired we still do not know the actual value because none of the parties have said this is how much yeah, we are right. acquired for um, we we just heard that they were acquired but i guess where the one billion dollar rumor started is that um people so there are reports that Gamma raised a billion dollars to back its investments. So we are not also sure of how much they raised. So this is probably a lot of speculation mm-hmm. masquerading itself as fact. Yep. So that's like what was here. So after seeing the news, I published an article that was trying to set the facts straight in a way. And a representative from Empower Africa reached out. in yeah with the claim that they did invest in video mm-hmm. so um according to him the, the investment was done through empower africa ghana which is a subsidiary of empower africa and he also mentioned that so in the article i i, I pointed out that zagadat capital there's the, so there are no public records of the investments they've done apart from the i think that was their, probably their first investment in in uh, PowerPay. So PowerPay is a fintech startup that they invested in, I think, 2021. So I mentioned that there's no public record of any other investment they have done. But the representative claims they have invested in um, startups like Eden Life, Pesa, yeah, and a few other startups across Africa. So um, so far, we still don't have like any concrete evidence that, yes, there was an investment, but the reality is that Mr. Izzy did not sell the company for one billion dollars. First of all, he did not. Um, he, through Empower Africa, may have been an investor yeah, in it. So until we can confirm, without any doubt that yes, Empower Africa did invest, um, we can't we can't authoritatively say that he did invest in Nvidia. Nvidia. So yes. Um, was Vidya sold for a billion dollars? No. Um, was did Mr. Izzy become a billionaire through that deal? Most likely not. So yes, um, yeah. I mean, it's a good thing that a Nigerian investor got an exit. Hopefully, a very favorable exit. But let's know what you are saying, please. 
Yeah, he's good, but we want to do good. Chimbo's is leaving us with that word. Let's know. Let's know what we are doing. Oh yes. Yeah.